What's happening everyone? Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new first aid kit. Somewhat new. I've been using it for over six months. I think maybe eight months. Almost a year. I'm not really sure. I've been using it that long. I take it with me every day in my EDC bag and when I go camping or backpacking, I take it out of the EDC bag. I throw it into whatever pack I'm using. So this is the first aid kit that I carry with me every day. It is in this Maxpedition. This is called the DEP. It stands for Daily Essentials Pouch. Now, this is supposed to be like an admin pouch, but I use it as a first aid kit, as you can tell by this little sucker I have right here. My little first aid Velcro deal. There is a Velcro panel on the outside right here, or hook and loop, however you want to call it. This thing is very durable. It's made out of, uh, let's see, the laser cut little hexagon looking, sorry, not laser cut, the little hexagon deals right here. This is a uh, thousand denier, I think, is it a thousand or five hundred? It is 1,000 denier ripstop material, and then the ballistic nylon on the side right here is 500 denier. Very durable, YKK zippers, nice zipper pulls with little rubber handles right here. Very easy to get your hand in, whether you have a or your finger in, whether you have a glove on or not. Uh, two different compartments on this. You've got the main compartment right here, and then you've got the smaller little front compartment right here. Uh, measurements on this sucker, you're looking at 8 inches by, is it 8 inches? Yeah, 8 inches by 5.5 inches by two and a half inches. And of course that depends on how much you pack this sucker out and you can expand it a little bit more with the front compartment and such. So uh, this sucker is also uh, grime resistant, abrasion resistant and water resistant, very water resistant. As you can see right here, I'm gonna take this little deal of water right here. I'm just gonna start pouring it over it. You see how it just kind of beads up, rolls off of there, even on the zippers. Now I have another pouch like this. I don't know if I have this in frame or not. I have another pouch like this that I've used as my uh, admin pouch for a while, and I did a review on it a while back. That one was called the CAP, Compact Admin Pouch. Uh, but, you know, they say you can attach this to a belt, something like that. Let's go ahead and pour the rest of this on here. Well, I should probably get up in frame, right? There we go. Nice and wet. Just like that. And, I mean, it just goes right off of the back. Now, I unzip it. Now, a little bit of water came through the zipper right there, but it did not get into the bag itself. So that's just because I was pouring heavily on the zipper. You're probably not gonna do that. You're probably not gonna submerge this in a lake or something like that. But for the most part, very water resistant, almost waterproof. I wouldn't go that far though, but very, very water resistant. Uh, as far as the molly on this sucker, this is a laser cut molly with, uh, this is called the Atlas Lattice System that they use here and here. I've just got my shears right there. And then it does come with a couple tack ties. These are plastic molly style strips lock into place down here. They just slide on and off of here. But enough about the pouch. We're now going to go over and I'm going to show you the contents of my first aid kit. I've taken some things out from the larger. I had that Condor EMT pouch, that ripaway pouch. That was my old first aid kit. And I have now gone with this sucker because it holds just what I need. And I'm not overdoing it with a bunch of stuff I don't need. So I'm going to come over to the tabletop, show you the contents of my first aid kit. So now that I've done my short review on the Daily Essentials Pouch, this is part of the AGR line that stands for Advanced Gear Research by Maxpedition, I'm going to get into the contents of my minimalized first aid kit. Now, like I said, I just take this in and out of my bags, throw them in there, but you can use this lattice system on the back. Some of these tack ties that they provide that just come out, you just pull up like that push down with the little button right here and these come out and then you can just feed it through here. I'm not going to do that and waste time with doing that. Uh, you'll figure it out if you ever buy this pouch. It's not hard to figure out. Anyway, let's get into it. First, we're going to go into these. Well, now I'm going to deal with this. I keep my shears on the outside right here. If I have to cut open some clothing or something like that, they just fit right there. I have no, I found no need to attach it in any way. They just stay very nice because of how tight this lattice system is. I'm going to get those out of the way for now. We're going to come over here, go into the front pouch first, the smaller compartment and unzip this, fold this down. Actually, I'm gonna spin it around like this. There you go, I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what I carry in there. I've got some cortisone cream, hydrocortisone cream. I've got something a lot of people forget to add into a first aid kit, which is an oral anesthetic gel. If you've got a toothache or something, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a bug out situation, if the zombie apocalypse is going down, it's the end of the world, uh, or your kid, you know, you guys are at a amusement park and your kid has a toothache, this stuff will work wonders until you can get to a dentist. I've got a roll of Tums right here because, you know, when I'm out backpacking or something, I might eat some freeze dried meal that gives me heartburn, so I keep Tums with me. And then there's a little section right here where I keep 
uh, some tick tools. If you get ticks on you, these are very handy to make sure you get the tick off properly. And then I've got some anti-diarrheal diarrhea medicine, diarrheal medicine, however you would say it. Uh, and that goes hand in hand with why I have the Tums. If I eat something that's going to make me want to crap myself, then there you go. I've got those handy. Then in the back here, I've just got a variety of different Band-Aids in different uh, sizes in these elastic bands. You've got three bands here, three right here of varying sizes, and then I have a couple things of wound seal. This stuff is excellent. If you get a good cut going on, uh, you know, deep cut that won't stop bleeding, this stuff works great. So that's all I keep in the little front compartment. Zip that up. And then we're going to go into the main compartment. Open this up like that. Now I have a pair of nitrile gloves I keep in case I need to deal with uh, heavy bleeding or something like that. Blood is slippery. You want to have some gloves on you. I've got a little thing of this adhesive tape right here. Uh, I think it's some type of like gauze tape. Then I have a roll of gauze there. I've got some after bite. That's great. If you have a, a bug bite, doesn't matter what kind of bug bite you got. This stuff, uh, it burns when you first put it on, but it takes the itch away right off the bat. I've got a couple alcohol swabs right here actually about four of them got a just a gauze a large gauze pad right here then i've got a let me open this up for you some more i've got a swat tea tourniquet right here always want to have a tourniquet with you those things will save your life let me kind of shove that back in there all right and then behind that that's just one little compartment there and then there's another compartment back here and there I just have some more gauze pads of varying sizes. That's pretty much it. Just different size gauze pads. Then in the front section right here, let me shove this back in, uh, more bandages. These are larger size band-aids. If you've got a big uh, scrape or something on your knee, uh, on your shin or something like that, doesn't matter where it is. Those are just large size bandages. And then I have some... What are these here? Some moist wipes. Those are good for cleaning up minor cuts and abrasions. I mean, in all reality, that's usually what I'm going to be dealing with is some minor cuts, minor abrasions when I'm out backpacking, hiking, camping, so on and so forth. Then this little, this is a nice little compartment right here because it's got that same hexagon material, but it is see-through. You can see my finger through there, so you can kind of see what you already have in here. Because this is an elastic pouch that holds quite a bit, I use this. This is where I store different medicines, different pills. Uh, what do I have in here? I've just got some... Some Q-tips I keep wrapped up in there in case I got to do some fine cleaning of a wound uh, or I got to clean my ears. I mean, they work for that as well. Uh, I've got some Zantac 75, a couple of those, and then I keep different little Ziplocs of ibuprofen. Uh, let's see, what is this? Ibuprofen, then I've got some allergy pills, and at the moment, that's all I have in here. Normally, I'll also keep some headache medicine or some caffeine pills, something to that effect. So just shove all this back in real quick. And that is pretty much it. That is the extent, the full extent of my individual first aid kit, also known as a IFAC. Now, like I said, the water did not seep through at all. Everything in here is dry. This material right here, which kind of folds over where the zipper goes, that absorbed a little bit of water, but that little piece right there is what kept the inside dry. Zippers work very well. This is a nice little kit. And I have found it perfect for EDC purposes, backpacking, camping, bug out, doesn't matter. It's lightweight and it carries all that I need for the time being. So there you go, everybody. That's a look at my IFAC. That stands for Individual First Aid Kit. It's called Individual First Aid Kit because it's based on your individual needs. So what I have in this kit may not work for you. Maybe you need to carry some other type of medication. Maybe you're uh, diabetic, you need insulin, or you are allergic to bees and you need an EpiPen. So what you put in here is up to you. I'm just showing you what I bring and the pouch that I use it in. I highly recommend the pouch. It's very durable, very nice pouch. So if you want to check one of these pouches out, you can go to my Amazon store, or influencer store, or whatever. It's there, or you can go to Maxpedition's website. Usually you can get it a few bucks cheaper on Amazon, I think. Uh, so go over there, check it out. If you want to pick one up, they come in a variety of different colors. You can attach it to a pack. Uh, you can do a whole variety of different things with it, even if you don't want to make it a first aid kit. But there you go. That's it today, guys. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe, comment down below if you got anything you want to say, maybe a suggestion of something I could add to this kit. As long as it doesn't bulk it up too much, I'd love to hear it. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you around the fire.